Hello, let me tell you about the time I found fairies living in my house. I woke up very, very early one morning, just before Christmas. It was so early that it was still dark outside. I don't know if it was my imagination, but I had a feeling that something was different about the house. I got out of bed, I looked here, I looked there, I looked everywhere, but it all looked the same to me. I went outside thinking that something had changed in the street where I live. I looked up the street. And I looked down the street. But everything was the same as it always is. Then, when I looked back at the house, wow! It was suddenly seemed as though it was filled with fairy lights. I came back into the house and I sat, and I thought, and I thought some more. Then I had a bowl of porridge for breakfast, and I continued to wonder what was happening. I decided that the only way my house could be filled with fairy lights was if there was fairies living here. I looked all around and couldn't find any fairies. I have a very small Christmas tree growing in a big pot. Usually it's out in the garden, but at Christmas I like to bring it into the house. It's only two years old and less than two feet tall, so it's smaller than you. I put tree lights and decorations on it, just like you would do with a big tree. I decided I would move the tree so I could look behind it and to my amazement there was a tiny fairy door with a golden fairy standing outside. Now as you know if a human sees a fairy the fairy becomes a statue and if you pick it up it will stay a statue forevermore. Well, I didn't want to hurt the fairy I wanted her to go home to be with her family so I looked away, and when I looked back, the fairy was gone. Where the fairy had been was a tiny piece of yellow paper. I picked up the paper, and there was writing on it, but it was far too small for me to read. So I got a big magnifying glass so that I could read what was written. And this is what was on the paper. As a reward for letting me go, our fairy village we will show. Come back at midnight on Christmas Eve, a sight you will see that's hard to believe. So exactly at midnight on Christmas Eve, I knocked on the fairy door. Suddenly, with the help of fairy magic, I was looking at this tiny village. Of course, because I was there, all the fairies stopped moving. That's the fairy law, you know. But the golden fairy showed me round her village. First, we went to see the church and the house next door. Then down the hill to the toy shop. And next to that is another toy store. Toys are very important to fairies, you know. 
then to the Christmas gift shop. And another shop next door selling Christmas gifts also. Because Christmas is important to fairies as well. Then to the bakers, where they sell lovely bread and biscuits and scrumptious cakes. But don't eat too many because they make you fat. Then we saw some fairy houses. Then a fairy hotel with a sleigh ride carousel and a church next door. And next door to them were two more houses. The fairy I had been calling the Golden Fairy was in fact the Fairy Queen. And she told me that I can have the fairy lights in my house until the twelfth day of Christmas. Do you know when the twelfth day of Christmas is? Uh oh, it's time to go. It started to snow again. <laughs>